All right, y'all, listen, I'll be honest with you. I'm not even sure why I'm doing this video. I think we already know the answer. It's obvious that is the best one, like for real, for real. So I'm not even sure why I'm doing this video. CTB, you know who it is. All right, y'all, it's your boy, Concise the Barber. We're back with another video, and we are at that time of the year where I do something kind of crazy, where I pick my best clippers and trimmers and stuff like that. Um, we're at that time of the year. I am waiting on one to get here, so I will be doing another video with probably within a month or so, but I wanted to get this out for you right now if you're in the market on figure out which one of these you should get. Let's get into the video. All right, so I know you guys probably just seen a recent video of mine it's talking about the Stylecraft family on which ones is the best trimmers out of that family. But let's open up that range a little bit. Let's talk about a little bit more brands on which trimmer right now is the best one for you. So I am picking five for my hand and I'll tell you how I ranked them from one through five and 99% of it is going to be preference. A lot of the specs of it is almost the same out of every one of them, but I will tell you the differences on why I like what I like. So out of the five, I am going to pick one. It's very, very powerful, but there's one thing about it that I just can't really deal with on a day-to-day -day basis all the time, especially me being in the studio. If you're in a barber shop, you probably be able to deal with it. But number five is the instincts. All right. So with 9,500 RPMs, four hour run time, you really can't go wrong with this, but it's definitely still in my top five i do use them still in my rotation especially if i'm going to ball something out it is probably one of the best ones to ball out your clients really really fast i don't really use it that much when it comes to lineups because i do like to take my time with lineups and this will be too loud to just constantly just be in one area or just moving around so i don't really use this for lineups under the neck and bald lines is what i use it for but you might use it for something completely different it is an all around trimmer it could do whatever really really nice it could do everything everything really really nice and it gives out clean sharp lines so this is number five for me so let's see what's on the number four spot what's number four on the list is the tpob x trimmer 7200 rpms three hours run time with an hour and a half charge time can't go wrong with that honestly it definitely has better internals than another version of this which is the coco trimmer three hours 7200 rpms can't beat that now if you ask me i did switch out the blade not saying that the cycle blade is not bad at all once i got this digital gap ambassador dlc i do like this blade i do like how it cuts it's nice smooth cycle blade is too it's just i just wanted to try it on the x and i haven't switched it back yet to be honest so i do like how this is but the trimmer i do like the trimmer wish it came with a stand it has this hook don't really care for this type of hook anymore i mean it's okay all metal body it does have that thumb area that i like and it has where you can put your fingers nice groove aesthetic wish it was all black i didn't get the black i got the green one it's okay slime green that's what he kind of rocks with that's his whole theme so i do like the tpob x trimmer and this is number four on my list all right so number three is number three until further than notice until a newer version comes out which i do know another version is coming out but i haven't gotten them yet i don't know if it will stay at number three or the newer version would jump to one two who knows i don't know but out of the line right now the baby look booth sx trimmers is the best ones honestly out right now that they have my personal preference this thing is definitely a go-to i know the snap fx came out after these but i like these just a little bit better i love it because of the rubber grip at the bottom 7200 rpms two hour run time i believe it should be four but on the box it says two hours so i could be wrong but i'm really not sure either way it's a great trimmer i do like the sound of it it has not gotten any louder than that i know back in the day when they first came out a lot of people didn't like the noise of them but i definitely think they fixed that the booth fx trimmer is definitely my top three definitely something i use all the time all around trimmer i got the graphite 2.0 blade on this and this thing is a workhorse like this thing works very very well love it so this is top three and can't wait to see about the fx ones we'll see where they land in my final review of the top trimmers of the year so right now we're just doing my top five but i will do the best trim of the year after this video within a month or two because we need to know where everything stands at least by december 1st so let's get to number two and y'all probably think i have a lot of favoritism it's just preference my number two is the saber trimmer now i have the gold version they do have a black version wish i had the black version but i don't but they both still perform the same way with the x1 blade they came out with this and this thing is a workhorse 7500 rpms four hour run time comes with a charging dock it does everything that you need 
needed to do. It is lightweight, so if you do like something lighter, this is the trimmer for you. I love it, to be honest. I wish I had the black one because I'd probably rock that one more because my thing is like the blue stuff. It's quiet. Can't go wrong with this trimmer, to be honest. And I'm not sure what the price is now, but I do know that they're dropping a little bit because of the newer trimmer that just came out. But to me, this is number two to be honest. I love this trimmer. All right, so number one is a newer trimmer that came out and it is the Cyborg by Gamma. Cyborg trimmer is definitely one of my favorite trimmers. I love the weight of it. Love how it feels in my hand. 7,500 RPMs, four hour runtime. Same almost specs as the Saber. It has an X-Pro blade. It is in silver, the one blade setup and everything. I like it, it's quiet. The LED is kind of nice and bright. I love that whole vibe, futuristic. But this is my number one. This is the one I pick up and do everything with. If I have anything that needs to be done that seems like it's a struggle, these are gonna do the job. So this is my number one. I know you guys are probably gonna have something maybe different. You might have the same fob, you know, set up different, whatever like that. I can't wait to try the FX ones. I definitely wanna place them somewhere in my top five. Most likely they will get there. They got a new, almost everything is gonna be new about it. I do want the low pro version if I can get those. So we'll see where they land once I do that review. But that's my top five, y'all. That's where I'm at with it. I appreciate y'all. Anyone you get, you're not gonna have a problem with at all. But it, like I said, it's all preference at the end of the day. So the Cyborg is my number one trimmer right now as of today. So thank y'all for watching. And if y'all wanna see more videos like this, click right here. Be blessed. CTB, you know who it is.